cash, but fashion. In this um, video, I'm going to happy hour, something really chill, but kind of cute. So I decided to like have a middle ground. It's like cash, but fashion. So if you want to see how I got this look and all the theatrics behind me leaving this house that I have to leave in like two minutes, then make sure you guys are liking this video, subscribing to my channels. Yes, both of them channels and keep watching. Hey guys, so I need to start getting ready. Um, I'm going out for drinks and such, a little happy hour situation. So I'm actually real life getting ready today and I'm real life in a rush. I don't really have much time, so we need to get it popping. But I think the curly hair is perfect for today because I'm actually in a rush. So I don't have to actually, I don't actually, how many times am I going to say actually? Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting nervous. I have to, um... I don't have to style this. All I'm gonna have to do is fluff her up. I'm probably gonna layer it a little bit to frame my face, but that's like just chopping it up a little bit. But I'm actually really happy that I have this curly unit today. Cause I just washed this, so it's like 80% mm, wet. And I just washed this, so um, it's like 70% wet, which is not a problem. Speeding through this, you guys know the drill. I'm most likely going to speed through this hair portion because I'm kind of sort of in a time crunch and you guys know I need to focus. So I'm going to be using my Erica J um, Skin Guard. This helps me so much. Um, but yeah, I've worked with Julia's hair plenty of times. I love their hair. I love working with um, companies that I'm familiar with because I know what to expect and I know what to tell you and you guys know if you see a company on my channel multiple times I really really like them or I feel like they have something to offer for you guys so that's why I do that so you guys know I always spray the skin guard and then I use my bold hold and yeah so let's get it hey guys so I just want to hop on here real quick to give you guys a little bit of information on this wig you guys know how this goes I like to speed through it because it's very repetitive I do it all the time and I do have tons of dedicated hair videos on my channel so if you guys want more information on what products I use why I do them what steps I do how I do them please check them out if you are interested in my installs and yes I am on the phone you guys know I'd be chatting it up and I had to be somewhere so we were like solidifying plans and stuff so just disregard that but anyways this hair is from Julia's hair and I've worked with them before like I said in the beginning this is a 24 inch curly unit so it is curly you have to remember it's 24 inches stretched out but when it's um, curled, it's going to be a little bit shorter. Also, this is 150% density. It's a pretty natural density, but it's still very full. And this has a 13 by 4 closure. I'm not 100% sure what kind of lace this is. It was a little bit on the lighter side, but it was a nice thin lace. So it melted into my skin and I also was able to tint it. So later on in, the, um, in these clips, you guys are going to see that I used some lace tint. And I just sprayed the lace tint over my wig opposed to spraying it to my lace I don't know why I do it like that I just like it better I feel like I have more control over the color of my lace because I can see it on my head if that makes any sense so yeah I'm just styling it pretty regular like I said it, when I'm in a rush I don't really want to have to deal with like curling or straightening or actually having to style my hair so this curly unit came in clutch because I was literally rushing so um yeah, all I did was use some foam and some water. Um, this is my first time using the foam. It was kind of sticky-ish. Wasn't really my favorite, but I will give it a try. I feel like maybe I should wet the hair next time and then um, put the foam on it. But I put the foam on dry hair and I never do that, so that's probably why. But anyways, yeah, I, that's the only products I added to the hair and a little bit of oil so that it wouldn't like get too frizzy. So that's pretty much it. You guys just keep watching and enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next few clips.
Okay guys, I'm back. So um, I'm hoping my hair air dries in more than enough time because I really want that like bushy curly look but I definitely wanted my curls to still be defined so what hate it already <laughs> got my lash together and now I'm going to just fluff my hair out I do want to keep the defined curls but I just want it to be a little bit more bushy so I'm just gonna literally finger comb it and it's gonna dry throughout the day but because I use that mousse it's gonna keep the curl so just going to keep pushing her from the root. A pick would be great, but guess who doesn't have one? <laughs> I don't. And the hair is giving, okay? This is super cute. I think a gloss would have made this look really cuter, but the mask and the gloss. <laughs> so I'm going to find something to wear because I actually have no idea what I'm wearing and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I just put together an outfit really quick and I have to go But before I go, I'm going to show you guys my fragrance. I'm going to be wearing bond number nine. This smells so good It's like a spicy florally scent. I Love this. Aaliyah got this for me for Christmas as well It just it smells so good. Oh my gosh. So wearing that and then um, I'm going to show you guys my outfit I'm telling you guys it's very underwhelming because I can't find nothing to wear and I don't want to be overdressed and I want to be comfortable, so let me show you guys my outfit. So, please, my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.